Again, straight from Snicker Ass Color Line, man. Today, today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Man, I got a pickup that I actually got maybe like, to be honest with you, I, it's been like two weeks ago and I've never had a chance to uh, unbox it. Well, not unbox it because it's actually like a unpackaging, I guess you could say. Uh, check it out. I got this from StockX. Got this straight from StockX right here. We're gonna go ahead, open it up, check it out, see what it is. I haven't got nothing from StockX in a minute, and this is actually my first time picking up something that isn't sneakers from StockX. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, y'all, like I said, I got a package actually here from StockX. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out and see the clothing that I actually got from StockX. But first things first, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if this is your first time watching. Appreciate you watching. Hope you like this video. Hope everybody's having a great day today. And if you've been watching for a minute and you still haven't subscribed, yo, stop playing, man. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Appreciate all the love and support. Shout out to the shout out to the homies Jones Kicks rocking a tea today. If you guys like this tea, uh, make sure you guys hit up Jones Kicks on their Instagram page. I'll make sure that I have the link, uh, you know, to their Instagram page in the details. So make sure you guys check them out. And I'm pretty sure I probably got it going already at the bottom of the screen. So make sure you guys check out Jones Kicks. Uh, make sure you guys check out sneakerheadsclothingline.com. That is my company, my brand. Started 10 years ago, still moving strong. Make sure you guys check us out for all custom laces, socks, tees, different sneaker accessories. We got y'all, man. Make sure you guys check out sneakerheadsclothingline.com. You guys can also check out the Instagram page, sneakerheads underscore clothing underscore line. So make sure you guys follow the Instagram page. Check out different visuals from the brand. I know you guys will like it. Most definitely if you guys are into sneakers. And if you guys are into my channel, I'm pretty sure you guys already know what the business is. So make sure you guys follow the Instagram page if you haven't yet. You guys can also follow me personally on Twitter at RedmanWalkie414. I'm getting a little bit more active on Twitter again. Uh, y'all, was pretty stagnant for a minute. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. So make sure you guys, you know, follow me on, on Twitter, yo. All right? So, and then you guys can let me know, you know, uh, different ideas, what you guys wanna see more from the channel, uh, you know, and whatnot. So make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and also comment below different ideas and whatnot, all right? So let's go ahead and get into it. Man, like I said, I got a package here straight from StockX. Cover up my little stuff here, whatever. As you guys can see here, it's a piece of clothing. I actually caught the T on StockX. Uh, so let's go ahead and check it out, man. It's my first time actually doing this, man. Normally, um, I cop something from StockX and it's like, you know, some sneakers or whatever. And I was like, you know what, man, I'm gonna um, cop a T-shirt, see how it goes, the whole process. It literally was the same way if you buy something, you know, if you buy a sneaker from StockX. And I know everybody's, you know, they've been uh, either deactivating, you know, their, um, you know, their StockX, you know, different accounts or whatever like that. Uh, me personally, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get into that. We'll get into that towards the end of the video. But let's go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, check this out or whatever. Uh, started to open it up. Not too long ago, and got the shirt here, paperwork. Okay, so first things first, they put this StockX bag in there, which is pretty dope. They put that in there. It wasn't, it was just by itself separate. They didn't have like my t-shirt in there or whatever, so whatever. But as you guys can see, it has the StockX logo, all white bag, poly bag, it's pretty dope. Nothing on the other side, so whatever. Okay, and then it comes with uh, has like a little card here, whatever you know, for my order number, and then it has on here the shirt that I actually copped, um, you know, the color, the season that it came from. Um, my size is 2x, 100% authentic, and then uh, I actually paid $21. 
uh, for this uh, t-shirt that I actually got. So very much got it for a steal compared to the average resale for this shirt. I actually got this for a steal, especially at SneakerCon. These shirts at SneakerCon was going for like 50 bucks. I've seen other resellers sell it for about the same thing, like 40 or 50 dollars. So I paid 21 bucks. Um, so I actually advise if you guys are into this type of t-shirt, and go to StockX and buy it. Don't don't cop from like other resellers or um, you know at SneakerCon or whatever like that. If they're gonna be busting you over here for this shirt, you know when you can go to StockX and you can cop it for twenty one dollars. And I can tell you a safe way how to cop on StockX compared to what other people uh, have been doing. Um, I did it a little bit differently, so I'm never worried about StockX. But we'll get into that, like I said. So. Uh, another thing they have in here, which they always do, is they put in, uh, it came back, back to the future, thank you. Basically, it's a thank you card. They have little stuff on here. They have Josh, the CEO, on the bottom, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, snap a pig, show us um, the verified authentic tag, all this upload to Instagram, hashtag stock eggs, um, all that good stuff, which they have on the other side here. Um, and then this is. This is another new sticker that they came out with. It used to be, um, I know with sneakers, they have like the little white one. It would be a white outline. This one is like a, you know, like a box, a black box logo one. So I don't know if they do this for, you know, for the clothes and then they use the little white one for the sneakers. I don't know, but maybe this is just a new one that they're doing, but okay, new sticker. So in the shirt that I actually picked up, let me get the actual name correct. Um, it's the fly tee. Okay, so it's just a new cause tee. As you guys can see there, new cause tee. Put it in this plastic bag. Take the plastic bag out. One no big deal. So, and I got a size 2X um, and the cause fly tee, as you guys can see there. So, first things first, uh, the tee. The quality of the, the quality of the tea, it's all right. All right, I mean it's all right. It's decent. It's just a regular cotton. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's 100% cotton too. To be honest with you, uh, yeah, it's 100% cotton. I can tell by the material. I mean, you know, by the feel of it, it's 100% cotton. So most definitely, when it comes to this shirt, uh, you know, I will be washing this with care because it's 100%. Because you can easily rock this one time. And then, you know what I'm saying, put it in a washer and it'll straight up shrink on you. I'm gonna let you know off the gate, especially with 100% cotton. But uh, you know, the all white fly tee, flay tee, just you know, your regular cost tee or whatever. And like I said, I paid $21 for this. Normally they've been they've been selling these on the resale market for like 50 bucks. Um, they put an authentic sticker, verified authentic sticker with a QR code. Uh, on the sticker there for the clothing. I'm assuming that's what they do for the, you know, for the clothing side. And so instead of the, um, instead of the actual, uh, like that, um, what is it? That little plastic piece that they put on the stick, uh, put on the shoes or whatever like that. I guess for the clothes, they actually do this little sticker or whatever. So that's pretty cool. Something, you know, something innovative, I guess, or whatever. Um, they could have put like a little plastic piece around here with the rest of this um, tags or whatever if they wanted to, but I guess for clothes they're going with the sticker. But y'all you know. let me know what y'all think. They want to take this too long. I've been meaning to do this video for a minute, you know, whatever, but I get busy, a lot of things going on or whatever. But you guys let me know what you guys think about, you know, that uh, cost tee. That's actually one of my first uh, purchases, like I said, from StockX when it came to clothes. And that's actually my first cause t-shirt um, that I ever picked up. So it was pretty dope that I was actually, you know, able to get it from StockX and I got it for $21. One thing about StockX though, and we'll get into, you know, we'll get into how you can purchase something safely on StockX. One thing about StockX though, is that I noticed with the clothes, it's the same price in shipping with the clothes that it is with the sneakers. So if you buy some, if you buy a sneaker on StockX, the shipping always is $13.95, right? So with the clothes, it's the same price. So even though I paid $21 for the shirt, I still had to pay $13.95 for the shipping. 
which is trash. All the way across the board, that's trash. There's no way this shirt costs $13.95 to ship by itself domestically in the States. And it came UPS just like everything else, right? Yeah, it came UPS just like they ship, you know, with their sneakers or whatever. So I know for a fact, just me personally, because, you know, uh, you know, being an owner of the, of the brand, clothing brand, dealing with, you know, shipping and stuff like that on a daily basis, I know for a fact it didn't cost no $13.95, even with UPS, to ship that shirt, you know, whatever. So that's the only thing that's whack, all right? So, um, I mean, StockX, y'all y'all see this, y'all probably won't, but whatever. If y'all do, y'all need to change y'all shipping prices when it comes to the clothes. It shouldn't be the same price as the, as the shoes or whatever. All right. So anyway, um, now, uh, man, learning how to buy something on StockX for, you know, safely. I know everybody has had issues. Uh, you know, they've gotten hacked twice recently um, and they have jeopardized different people's accounts. People have been getting hacked to where, um, you know, like hackers have been buying a gang and stuff off different people's accounts, you know, whatnot. Um, I'm not, I'm never had an issue or I'm never worried about it myself personally. And this is why I'm never, you know, never worried. So you guys can also do this as well, right? And not have to deactivate your StockX account. It's very simple. Don't use PayPal, number one. Don't use your PayPal account. And don't use your debit card or credit card your that goes to your you know to your business account or goes to your personal account. Do not do those methods. What I did and what I do personally is for my StockX account is I actually have I have I have an account that's on the side. Uh, I don't want to say it like that, but I mean, but it is. You know, I have a prepaid. I have a prepaid card, you know, which is an account that's on the side. And then I also have another account where I keep nothing in it. As, and then when I do want to make a purchase, I just load money or I transfer money. If it's the prepaid card, I load money in it. Or if it's the other side account that I keep no money in it, I just transfer money into that account. So for StockX, and you should never have an issue. Prime, you know, prime reason. I want to buy something. Like for example, I bought this car shirt. I use my prepaid account. All I did was I went to Walmart. I loaded some money on it. The, you know, I loaded like 40 bucks, you know, on it or whatever. And then I bought the shirt. That's really it. And matter of fact, no, actually I loaded forty dollars on it because I put my bid at 21 bucks because I also calculated in the $13.95 for the shipping. I was like, yo, I'm not finna spend like, you know, like 30, 40 bucks for this shirt. I put my bid at $21. Uh, the bids were going really low at that time. Uh, I think the average was like around like 26 bucks. I was like, yo, at first I had it for 20 bucks and then I raised it to 21. I was like, I'm not going no further than 21 because I gotta spend that $13.95 on the shipping for the shirt, which is whack, but hey, all right. The most I'll do grand total is like 35 bucks. So um, I loaded 40 bucks, like I said, and then um, somebody accepted my bid for the $21. And, there was, and that's it, you know, so then, you know, StockX instantly, they take the money off of your account. That's it, I'm never worried. So somebody was to hack my account, Yo, I mean, they'd be sadly disappointed. <laughs> they'd be sadly disappointed because you ain't getting nothing off of me. You, there ain't never no money in that account. So if somebody was to hack my account, they they would never get nothing off of me and I'd never be worried. So you guys can use that as my advice. That's what I do. So I'm talking from my own personal experience. You guys can implement that for your own account with StockX. And like I said, I've never had any issues and I'm never worried about nothing because you can't never be worried about nothing if you ain't got nothing in that account. You understand what I'm saying? So uh, that's it for this uh, video. Didn't want to make it too long. Uh, so man, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll show the tee off once again, the StockX. 
Blade T from season, what season is this? Season 19. So season 19, the flag T. I paid $21 for the T, plus the trash $13.95 shipping. Once again, shout out to Jones Kicks uh, for the T. Make sure you guys check out on Instagram. I'm gonna go ahead and holla at y'all later. Peace.